this match now that we know it's Kazuya, and that completely changes the the um, the approach for Dap One, where you know you had to play a little bit more slow, more patient against Link. Now I feel like as Kazuya, you're kind of forced to approach, and I think that's where Delta Force really strives is just waiting for you to run up, and then he just gets in there, he gets an up the outer shield, and then you know huge damage from from Delta Force. That is if you can get those hits off. If you miss those, that's going to be very crucial, and that one is just going to be able to punish you. Okay, but here we go. Now with the proper DAP1 tag, should be able to do things all right here. The up tilt's coming out already. You can see the game that Delta Force is trying to play, and it is all about spacing. Yo. And it's really nice, you know, that remote bomb, just being able to set up uh, with Boomerang. Even, honestly, every move just to send it forward, it's such a cool mechanic. And as a Zelda fan, I love it. What a tech Ooh. by Dap1. Ready for that tech. I don't think I'd have been ready for that tech, but... Delta Force is doing such a good job of keeping it out. 84% built up, only 13 on the link right now. Mm. Dap is looking for the openings, but is going to get Jap locked and sent away. 110, Rage Drive is on deck. What can oh. we do with this opening? Not a whole lot at the moment, but we're still holding on. Oh, what an air dodge to be able to avoid that uh, forward air. Delta Force, you can see, just had that option covered. And Dap1, unfortunately, going to lose the Rage Drive. But what is the answer here? How do you come back? Just throwing away that bomb. Air dodging in. It's a little bit of forward air. This yeah, is actually, fun. holding onto that bomb is really good because that oh. let you get back, but you almost got comboed into it. Still alive. Bomb missed ledge. Love that recovery mix yeah. up with the down air, but that down air, sword will plunge into you, and that will be enough to take the first stock. Dap one. Oh, okay. I saw the vision. I saw the yeah. vision just trying to force Delta Force to go into a tech position and maybe just get back on the stage. But Dap one, unfortunately, gonna swing and miss. Trying to read a roll of some sorts. Gets a back air. Does have stage advantage, so what can you make of it? Nothing, and Delta Force immediately gonna get double back air into that uh, jab. This is why he's C1. He's doing so good at oh. just choking out any and all advantages that Zap gets. He's yep. able to air dodge. I don't know if we have a jump still. I don't believe we do. And the up nope. not quite going to make it back. That is two stock lead for Delta Force at the moment. That, uh, I hope you've been looking at Riddle's gameplay. <laughs> Hopefully that will save him. But I don't think it can because Delta Force has such a huge advantage. But remember, this is cause you were talking about. Comeback factor is not even a question about this character. He can just... Deal so much damage, get a Hell's Gate, and it's just, you know, difficult for a Double Force to come back. But thankfully, you know, uh, Remote Bomb is a thing. Huge damage, by the way. And gets the Uppy to punish cool. the Demon Laser. And that's a first, solid first game showing from Delta Force. And if I'm not mistaken, that was a three star. It was, and a very clean one from Delta Force at that. The one thing I will say, having just seen that match, is I, I would say to Dap1, might want to look into a different character. Yeah. Just for this matchup right now. Kazuya might be good. It might, I'm seeing like some really good crouch dashing movement coming through. The problem that I'm not seeing though is electrics. Oh yeah, exactly. And it electrics. comes day by day, but you know, some days you're going to be on it. Other days you aren't. If the electrics aren't coming out, then that's this. In, that's the instance where I'm like, okay, I need to look at a different character here because I'm not hitting my electrics today. Yeah, let's hope. We hey. see a Falco. Yeah, there we go. There we go. You there saw it a Falco. Is. Yeah. That's exactly what you need. That's going to be huge. That, that that reflector right there. Just to be able to reflect that bomb back, but also boomerang as well. Huge damage. Able to get that jab. Pushes the remote bomb forward. And then is able to get an F tilt. The dash attack actually connecting as well. Lovely angle on that upbeat to just slip under the jabs as well. Delta Force still doing a great job of keeping up so much pressure with the projectiles and the timing of these tilts as well. Mm. But that, that's the kind of movement I like to see, getting back with the B-reverse laser. Just trying to find something cheeky, oh. a spike to get something on Delta Force, but oh my god, this Link not going down without a fight. Not at all. Here we go. This is where Delta Force thrives on this ledge. Gets the up B and that's going to kill. What a reversal from Delta Force. He is super well known. We're just getting those reverse uppies on, on that ledge, and then it's just the so much damage. Oh. oh, I thought he was gonna go for a down air spike. I was like, yo. <laughs> that was a beautiful little interaction there of big brain, bigger brain. That throwing out the reflector was so smart to preempt the bomb coming out. And Delta oh, Force was uh -oh. like, oh, okay, bet. And throw out the uppie as soon as that finished. But man, we just, both players firing on all cylinders right now. This is a great gameplay. 
Oh, uh, do you make this back? Oh, you did, but the down there, super active move. Speaking of active moves. Oh my, oh my god, Delta Force. Dude. <laughs> everything, everything in the book, and it's somehow always a reverse upbeat. Like, when I tell you that Link, uh, Delta Force Link is one of the tightest links to watch, I'm not kidding. Good side beat into the back air. Can that one find the kill here? I think if he gets the one kill, he might be okay. He might still be in this game. It actually traded with that Nair, uh, that up smash. Gonna jump right into the forward tilt there. A valley of projectiles, and you do not have a jump oh, to set up with baby. the bomb to Delta Force. This is like watching... I, I have no better comparison than Ultra Instinct Goku. Just <laughs> dodging everything and somehow 40 steps ahead of you with a plan. This is so cool to watch. Ugh, it's, it's just like... The fact that he thinks about this. You know, like some of these things you can't fathom a Link do. But he makes Link look so silky smooth with his setups. You know, he, I think I saw a jab 1-2 on that shield. And then the bait to the jump with a, a forward tilt. Oh my god. It's just the amount of setups, the amount of thinking that Delta Force is doing with this character is absolutely crazy. And when you have a pilot like Delta Force being able to, to master Link in that sense, it's it's so difficult to be able to combat such a hard-hitting character. Yeah, it's a very beautiful amount of reaction time is what I'm going to say here. Um, just the ability to throw out an option react to how that option goes down and react to it faster than I see most top players react to things. Mm -hmm. Like, again, I want to call out that reflector with the bomb situation off stage because Delta Force got hit by the bomb and immediately reacted with the uppy. I have not seen most people react <laughs> that fast to something like that. Yeah, it's just his general knowledge of, of the character as well to be able to get these uppies to kill. I mean, I think four out of the six kills that he had was due to that uppy being so important. And you can see, again, comboing into it as well. Not even going off stage for the kill half the time. And this I, might be I think it? this is... This, I think this... Different no, clip. I think, I think it was the next... Oh, yeah, this, this is it. this is the clip. Boom. Like, Throughout dude. the back there, got hit and immediately <laughs> went to the uppy. That is, like... It's just, all right, plan one failed. Here's plan two. And I'm just like, did you have this ready? Do you have this already? Like, like is that too? And it's just being able to punish Falco's, I guess, pretty, which is crazy to say, punishable recovery because of how uh, Firebird works. Uh, and even side B, just waiting for that end lag and getting these uppies, getting those back airs, active hitboxes, just to keep on sending Dap1 off stage and then forcing him to go back and like rinse and repeat those options without having a jump. I mean, ugh, I, Delta Force, you monster. <laughs> I can't tell if it's more impressive if all of that is like a pre-planned backup plan or made up on the fly. Like if you're going like... into every situation with at least two plans versus the ability to improvise that quickly. I don't know which one is more impressive. I think they're both like equally impressive. I feel like it's a combination of both, right? That's the caliber of player that we are talking about right now is just his ability. He's labbed a lot of these combos off, but at the same time, he just has this knowledge to be able to freestyle into, you know, back air one, get a nair off, grab a ledge, a drop off up B. That, that's the stuff that he's like, okay, boom, 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 boom. Like he doesn't even like second question it. 